You know, you didn't, ha- you couldn't do those things. That's a good point. You can't go meet people. You can't go to a trade show or a conference. You know, you you can't. People aren't even want to get a bunch of people in the room. So what are they doing? They're they're scrambling right now to say, the internet is my voice. It is it is where I've got to pitch myself and engage with people in all the ways they want to do that without me personally being able to do that. That's my voice. Yeah, and I think that, how do I do that? You made such a good point there when it comes to always. If you're saying that and you're if you're saying that about your company, we've always done it this way. Oh, it's always been this way. We've always used this CRM. It's always worked for us in the past. Um, you're in a very dangerous spot right now. Um, things are changing. People that maybe before didn't have a voice because of the digital market that we live in now do have a voice and the ability to compete with the bigger guys. You know, I'll give you I'll give you an example. One of the, the things in our industry is um, I was talking with a guy yesterday. He works out of Miami. And he, he's a salesman for a roofing company, but he's done extremely well on Instagram because he posts simple videos that are 30 seconds long about roofing. He gets on top of a roof and homeowners love it. He shows them, he's like, hey, listen, if a roofer comes out and tells you this, here's when you know they're lying. Hey, if a roofer comes out and does this, here's, you know, when um, you should be, you know, the red flag should go up. So he's almost informing homeowners is all he's doing. Very simple visits. Mike, Mike, Mike Delgado, Mike the roofer. And uh, I thought that was a really inventive way to look at things, to stop doing things the old way and, and to turn that page and to make a change. Because if you're always doing things some way, there's going to be somebody who's going to come behind you and, uh, and and be able to make those adjustments for the world that we live in today. Yeah, and I, I think, Patrick, one of the things that stands out to me about your friend or you were talking to about that, that he's doing is 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 the fact that he's adapting. Right. He's adapting to the digital space. Instagram obviously is becoming bigger and bigger, you know, but you also need to take that message across other digital channels because he might be missing an audience in Facebook. He might be missing an audience on a video. He might be missing an audience through Google search, you know, through the textual content that he puts on there or or the videos of the same ones. He can repurpose that content. And so I think that's one thing that stands out to me about that. The other thing is he's educating his target audience. He's coming up with the questions that you don't even know you need to ask. Mm-hmm. You're not even sure what you don't know that you need to know. And he's educating his customers like, here are the things you need to keep in mind when you're looking for a roofer. Yep. Here are the common mistakes that people make. Here are the things you need to look out for. Here's the, the kind of attributes you want to look for when choosing a roofing company. Yep. And, and so you be, you need to be able to be that educational resource. And then if you do a good enough job of that and you show the value of your company, you're going to build more trust that way. And when you build more trust that way, you're going to get more people attracting to you, engaging with your company, and then, you know, determining whether you're a great fit for them or not. It gives you a chance to get up to bat, you know.